Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Evans, and I am the founder of the Ashley Exchange International. I just wanted to hop on and just briefly discuss a recent Bible study that I did with a group, a group of members in the Ash Exchange International. Um, and we've been reading through Judges, and we recently read through Judges 13 through, through 16. When we were reading through that, one thing that stood out was Samson. So typically when we read, when we hear about Samson, we hear about him from the perspective of Samson manipulated by Delilah, you know, he's often put off as a victim. But reading from Judges 13, 14, 15, and then 16, it's very apparent that um, Samson, he lacked wisdom. Um, he lacked a lot of character. He was very vengeful, angry, impulsive, um, selfish. You know, he really only wanted his own way. Very prideful. And it always amazes me reading through those chapters because I think to myself about how we can often overlook our character flaws because of our anointing. And we often do that for other people as well. Not to say our goal is to point out the flaws of other others, but the reality is, is that we are our brother's keeper. We um, hold each other accountable. And so even for ourselves, there are times where we can easily overlook um, a pride, a moment of pridefulness, because we think our anointing is just so high and so valuable and so wanted but that's not the heart of God you know and I think about what happened with Samson and how he died I wonder if he had to die that way simply because of the consequences of his bad character would he have lived longer and still be able to defeat the Philistines if his character was better you know those are the types of questions that came to my mind while I was reading it and I just want to caution us all to be mindful about our character. Make sure that we are quick to repent. I think about David, you know, when he did sin with Bathsheba, he thought he got away with it. You know, he had her husband murdered, committed adultery. She got pregnant. He thought he got away with it. But, you know, out of the mercy of God, God sent the prophet Nathan to, to speak to him and to give him a parable that made him realize he was wrong and he had sinned. But the beautiful thing about David is that rather than trying to justify his sin or excuse it or, um, or say he's so anointed that, you know, make himself seem invincible, he repented. He acknowledged he sinned and he repented. And because of him loving God, and reverencing God, revering God so much, you know, God showed him so much mercy. You know, he could have done so much more as a um, consequence for his sin, but God was merciful because David was repentant. And I want us to really think about that because, man, we give a lot of passes because of anointing. And this is not just about other people. This is even for myself. You know, we have to be self-reflective. We have to pause and constantly check ourselves every day. You know, when we wake up, when we go to sleep in the middle of the day, Lord, search my heart. You know, reveal to me the areas where I am lacking your heart, your nature, your character, your love. And it's so important for us to do that because we really don't know what the consequence will be if we continue to live our lives trying to hang off of the anointing as if our character does not matter. I mean, yes, we see people all the time function out of, the, out of their anointing, but the reality is, is that God just doesn't care about our gifts. He wants us to be made new. He wants us to be made in his image. And part of being made of his image is embodying his character. What does that character look like? It looks like the fruit of the spirit um, in Galatians 5, 22 through 25. And so I want you to spend some time 
going back to that, um, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal those areas of your character that need improvement, helping us to remain humble, helping us to show love, to be selfless, not in a way that we neglect our well-being, but in a way where we're not so self-centered, you know? So I just wanted to hop on and give this word of encouragement. And for anybody who's looking for a community and you're interested in diving deeper into the word of God, please feel free to join our Bible study. Uh, we have it twice a month. If you go to the ashexchange.org, you can definitely look on the events page and you'll see the dates for our upcoming Bible study. Uh, we are finishing, finishing Judges this month. But um, I just want you to take the time to reflect and ask God to help with your character because we don't want to risk missing out on anything God has for us because we lack character. And I truly, truly believe Samson could have lived a little bit longer or died with a little bit more honor if he embodied more character. And I would hope for all of us that we can leave this earth with a beautiful testimony and not a negative representation of us doing bad things because we lack character. All right, so nothing to be, just wanted to drop that on your heart. Check out the ashexchange.org. You can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe and like, follow, comment, because I do like to have these conversations. I do like to, you know, just say hi, you know? And that's just, like I said, let's just be intentional about embodying the character of Christ. Have a wonderful day. Bye.